And welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. TDF's lazy asshole. Yes, I am. We're gonna start every Coliseum part criticizing some mistake I've done in some part. Yes. I assume this is like the norm for us now. Yep. Anyway, now we're in one of Cypher's bases, the one in Pyrite, where Mirror B hangs out, which is he's a totally hip guy, as you can tell by the decorum of this yep. building. He, he just has a hidden dance floor in here that he hangs out in. Hidden disco floor that just pops out of nowhere when <laughs> yeah. you have the press of a button. But yeah, basically this uh, building in we're at right now is, is just a trainer rush. You go through a spiraling, spiraling staircase walking through hallways, but I decided to save you the trouble of an hour of recording and uh, just cut them all out. Yeah, I mean, you really want to watch all these Pokemon battles. And most of them are pretty, like, they all contain the same Pokemon, they're all yeah. fairly bleh. I never really got the point of these boss rushes since you can just exit the building and heal. Well, not even exit the building, just go to the first floor and heal whenever. So yeah. Kind of, you know, aside from grinding, there's no real point. Yeah. Here, but and again, I guess it's most of Pokemon. See, like, I wonder, why can't these bodybuilders just grab your tiny head and just crush it in their <laughs> massive palms? It's just like, take you and slam you into the wall. No glory the for the fallen, I like that. <laughs> yeah, they do have emo. some pretty cool... They do have some cool flavor text, I guess. Oh, man. This is how we play RPGs. I like how they got an arrow, just in case you don't know how to walk upstairs. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just in case if you walk up that staircase, you might end up in another dimension. <laughs> going up. Go here. I like how she's got a sparkly purple hat. Like yeah. she's some kind of pimp or something. Street performer. In more ways than one, if Whoa. you know what I mean. Absolutely nothing in here. A hundred percent disappointing. <laughs> you could have at least picked up Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> nah, I'm not much of the reading type. As evidenced by your uh, fucking books that you keep on your desk for no other reason than to make you seem smart. Yes, exactly. Now I wonder why she doesn't just doesn't pick up that vending machine behind her and just crush me beneath it. But what? And it's even out of order. I can't believe this. No Coke, no Pokemon Coke for you. Oh well, darn. It's not like I could drink it anyway. It's not like the this human world accommodates for human needs. <laughs> You know, I really want there to be, like, you know, we had Team Plasma, and it was interesting. They were true Pokemon devotees, They and they were probably the most threatening and had the, probably the best morale out of all of the teams. But I really want there to be an enemy team in a game that basically just want humans to rule the Earth and want Pokemon to get the fuck out. Yeah. Anyway, I decided, we finally have a Shadow Pokemon belt decided to speed up. Ooh, and of all the Shadow Pokemon it could have been, we get freaking Remoraid. Remoraid's cool. I just like them. I wish he. I always. I. At first, I thought. Why does he evolve into artillery anyway? I have no clue. You think he. You think he'd evolve into Mantine of all things? Yeah. Considering you see him on Mantine's. Mantine's freaking. Uh, uh, wing, I guess. Yeah. No. no. Also, uh, freaking Remorade retarded because it's level 20 when we're all level 30 already. I never understood some of the leveling. I guess Mantine is just Remorade sugar daddy. <laughs> yes. But anyway, it's times like this where it really gets annoying because you have to beat the shit out of everything except for the Shadow Pokemon if you're actually trying to catch it. Yeah. And while well, the Shadow Pokemon are pretty much free to just wail on you. And you just decide to it. kill it, you yeah, heartless but... bastard. Fuck Rippin' Raid. Octillery is a cool dude, but uh, I just don't feel like it. Mm. I'm not feeling it. Octillery is a cool. He's cool. Oh man, do I learn Confuse Ray? Fuck yeah, you learn Confuse, right? Actually, having contest information in the Col in Coliseum. I don't even. Wow. I like how they always walk extremely slow. They never run. Whereas you're always running. Yeah. Oh god, and, and, and Mantine is a total bitch to catch, but whatever. <laughs> I think I actually catch this one. Because Mantine's awesome. Uh, didn't it, like, have a really creepy voice in the anime? Like, it was just like a whale. 
That'd be awesome. I actually don't know. I want to check that out now. Like a moan. Ooh, something like that, like underwater. You know, uh, I noticed that. Yeah, I, I see. Like, for, I remember I was reading the review section for like Diamond and Pearl and whatnot. And they were and people were criticizing how the Pokemon games still don't have them. You know, having them sing the names still have the electronic generic noise that they make in the game. But really, it always made less sense that the Pokemon just repeat their names than them just making ambiguous sounds. When you yeah. Think about it. So I don't really see what everyone's complaining about. Now, if anything, um, Stadium had the best idea of giving them, like, not necessarily electronic, but not necessarily their own sound either. Just yeah. sort of making fake, like, moments and whatnot. That yeah. always struck me as the most realistic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, see, look, I, I, I can't do shit. Charizard in the anime. There are some Pokemon in the anime that just roared. Like Charizard. Well, yeah. I, I, cause, you know, going Charizard, Charizard, that wouldn't exactly be intimidating, now would yeah. it? Yeah. Like, that'd be kinda weird, you just sort of, like, see this awesome Pokemon, Zapdos, and it only, and it only goes, Zapdos, 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 like, it's not intimidating. <laughs> Incredibly nasally voice, Zapdos, Zapdos. Yeah, it, it, I like it better that they just gave Zapdos this sort of, uh, shriek, shriek yeah. Well, I, mean, I guess it works for the cuter and smaller Pokemon, but it really does kind of break down for, like, the tougher guys. Yeah. So I always wonder why Mewtwo never bothered talking to the trainer in the game. <laughs> I wonder what he just said, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. <laughs> All psychic Pokemon can talk. Look at this, I take so much shit from this guy just because of that one shadow Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. We should just That's take it. Unbelievable too. I have no idea where that two is there. After we finish this, we should just make a compilation of every, every time I just say yeah. In response. I like how to they had the they they had you know the idea to beat the crap out of that kid right there, but it didn't have the same idea for me. No, they had to specifically battle me. <laughs> well, don't you know you have white hair? You're a badass. He they has white hair too. <laughs> but you have a cool shirt. Oh snap! I have got body armor. <laughs> oh, it's the man himself. <laughs> yes. What do you think of this design versus XD? Oh wait, we already talked about that. Fuck. Oh well. Unfortunately, his team isn't playing. I like the gold design though. <laughs> <laughs> He's funky, fresh. He is completely funky. He just floors everyone <laughs> at the dance floor. They have to clean up after him. <laughs> Ein the file. Is he German? Oh, snap. Obligatory Nazi joke, etc. <laughs> kind of name is Ein? A real one. Like, we, we run up to everything, but once we get in the elevator, oh no, we have to take this slow. <laughs> it's a dramatic <laughs> entrance into the <laughs> yeah. elevator. Also, you have to be careful here because if you if you get near enough to that door, it will it do it'll do a scene where you automatically walk up out of it and trap you on the bottom floor. So I just decided to cut that shit out and wow. just, no. Now we're back I'm not here. Not walking all the way back up that hallway. Too much leg work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you on. I like how he just, I like how he just sort of holds his, I like how he's, he's tired or something. I can't stand yeah, up. All the models, all the models just keep twitching, they just keep moving up and down and up and down. Like they're out of breath or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just ran a marathon. <laughs> you know, I always wonder, all these, these guys get the, their shadow Pokemon from like winning the Coliseum, the contest, you know, down here. And uh... Imagine, like, you know, they obviously get lots of different Shadow Pokemon, but, like, imagine they get a really shitty one, like, they might get a Shadow Rattata or something. <laughs> imagine just how, like, insulting that must be. Yeah. You're a Quilfish, Jeff. Yeah, Quil Jeff you got. A <laughs> You're a Quilfish. <laughs> yes. Say it with me, Neo. You're a Quilfish. Quilfish, I forgive you. We'll just spend the entire rest of this part talking and breaking in bad quotes. No. Why? Well, I knew it was always particularly annoying I found in the game, but I have no idea why. Yeah. He's not that great of a Pokemon head, but it's always been one of the most dickish moves. Yes. It's 
funny because I just watched the second episode of the anime, and in that episode, Misty threw out a gold bean, and it was absolutely useless on land. Yep. <laughs> and yet, for some reason, it, in some of the, in a lot of the other episodes, Goldeen's just seen floating in the air. I guess I just can't stay consistent. <laughs> Why the hell am I even contemplating? Why would you even Swift? take Swift? I know. I, I was wondering. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Sir, <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> And they just let me pass anyway. I remember it's actually in some games, like even if you beat them in a battle, they still go, fuck you, I'm not letting you pass. Why don't these guys just do that? Why do they really think I'm so special? <laughs> you just push them, oh, you, they're afraid that you're I'm just going to command your I'm shadow around Pokemon. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> you're out of his arbitrary it. line of sight. <laughs> exactly. Can't He's see. very, very nearsighted, you see. All of them are near, they're like practically blind. <laughs> Watch how you come out to this like this mini boss, and the fact that he's a mini boss is because he has glasses. <laughs> they can't see like two feet in front of him. I actually remember it's it's fun to screw around in some games with the line of sight thing. In uh, in Ruby and Sapphire, there's actually a place where you can make a a, a, a female trainer walk through a wall by make, by getting in her line of sight. <laughs> wow. She'll actually walk through a wall. <laughs> This part can get pretty, pretty confusing. Yeah. I take the wrong way, however. I never got confused. Did, what, what did she say? That I could have sworn she just said "Welcome to here." She did say "Welcome to here," actually. So <laughs> fuck. Personally, I would have preferred "Welcome to die." <laughs> Welcome <enough>. to die. <laughs> She's got a Dune Sparse. Who actually likes Dune Sparse? Dune Sparse, really. See, that's what I mean by insulting people. <laughs> Why that's aren't you a bug type? You'll pay for not being a bug type. Wasn't that the only benefit of Doom Spars that it has Serene Grace? Uh, yeah, and it has no really viable move pool to abuse that. Which yeah. we've said in the in the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough, which by the way, this playthrough has taken so long that there have been 10 parts of that released so far. What I did like is how you could call them out of sleep, but I always thought was a really neat idea, which always made awakenings incredibly redundant. I don't even know why they bothered to keep them in this game, I guess for people who never bothered. Yeah. Might. Eh. I don't even know why, I, I, I KO'd freaking Mantine and Remoraid, but for some reason I'm actually gonna bother catching Dune Spars. <laughs> you feel sorry for it. It's just so pathetic, I have to. <laughs> I don't get that absorb, it's like there's a fog there. I don't know, I, a, lot, a lot of the attacks- PURPLE VOMIT! <laughs> toxic always struck me as like, just gross. The fact that every single Pokemon in the game can learn Toxic is kind of disturbing. So are you hoping for like, an actually cool, like, uh, an actually good, like, console Pokemon game for Wii U? What do you mean actually good, because these weren't good? No, I mean for I Wii. Since before Wii. Oh, well, you, oh, yeah, the Wii only had PBR, which was mediocre. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course, I mean, PBR was mediocre. What other justification do we need? That incarnation of Stadium was disappointing. Yeah. I don't get what people saying it's not a Stadium game. It basically is a Stadium game. I think it's because it had no free battle where you could choose, like, any Pokemon you yeah. wanted. And no mini-games! Well, of course. I mean, no abusing the Waggle physics, come on. <laughs> Oh, she talks in the third person, wow, what a fact. So, what do you, what would you want for Wii U? Like, a new Shadow Pokemon game, or... What? Well, a new Shadow Pokemon game would be interesting, but not necessarily. I want definitely something something else like this, something with a different, like, tone. It's a campaign. Yeah. Look at this, you don't know how mad I was when I thought when I thought this was the right way. Just... Jump! So mad. Just jump! <laughs> if only! <laughs> Why can't you jump? Actually, I don't think there's any place in this game where you can jump. There's like no ledges or anything. Yeah. I know XD has some places where you can jump, but yeah. that's it. And I need to show you the process of me depositing my Pokemon. Or don't deposit Quillfish! I'm sorry, I should have nicknamed him Jesse. Yeah! 
You have to wait to nickname them though. Look at this, you can see all my stats. I have been playing this game <laughs> for two hours and seven minutes. <laughs> you spent your whole life training. Look at you, I keep just trying to get you away from me, but you just keep coming back. Have you, you ever gotten, like, have you ever, like, I, whenever I play, I have, like, the longest time on my heart gold because instead of turning off the DS, I just put it into sleep mode. Yeah, I didn't do that. I actually turned off my DS. And I'm pretty sure it actually counts when you're pausing and when you're in sleep mode. It counts time. So what exactly happens if they do beat you? Like, I know in the game's logic, you know, you white out and stuff. But what happens if they beat you, like, just beat you? <laughs> Why? You just, just, you just hang your head in shame and walk to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a restore point right there. Why not just go heal up there instead of going all the way back to the center? <laughs> I know. It's... Oh, Swablu. What do you think of Swablu? I quite enjoy Candy Floss. <laughs> Altaria. Uh, Altaria is pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, you can I, get I an Altaria in XD, I believe. Mm. Yeah, you do. Oh, I don't feel like doing that with this one. Yeah. Now, if only Beldum was freaking good. I uh, see this is like the issue, you know, there's a lot of cool Pokemon you can catch, but so many of them aren't Shadow. Yeah. Why can't you just, like, don't take all their Pokemon away from them? They're clearly bad people. See, what always bugged me in this was the fact that, okay, so one time I got a Game Shark for my GameCube, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna turn on Catch Shadow Pokemon and just, like, catch all the Shadow Pokemon and take them over to my Ruby file. And so it turns out, if you catch non-Shadow Pokemon, they are permanently shadow, like, you can't purify them. Wow. They, it, it just, you know, you go to the to the relic and everything, but it just resets your shadow meter. Damn. You don't know how mad I'm Yeah, they feel sorry for them. <laughs> yeah, I know. The door, the door to their hearts are permanently locked. They are forever tormented in this dark world. Even Shadow Lugia could be purified, but nope. They unintentionally... Uh, Cypher unintentionally found... In, a way to permanently lock the door to a Pokemon's heart, but yeah. no, let's just do recolors. Mm -hmm. 